coming days. And let's focus on the northwest now. A major road to Taung flooded this week. Teachers were meant to report for duty, but some schools in the province were inaccessible to discuss. We're joined by the Northwest uh, MEC uh, for Cooperative uh, Governance, and that's uh, M uh, Moloki Waile. Uh, MEC, thank you for being with us, and, and thank you for, for giving us a picture. I mean, in Pamalanga, we, we've seen an incredible death toll and, and people losing their homes. What's the situation in the northwest thank you very much um, we are continuing to receive heavy consistent rainfall because of la nina phenomena the force and back movement of the uh, climate patterns around southern hemisphere particularly of both atmosphere and the ocean and we are affected around dr rsm at tau kahisa nomolopo multiple uh, roads connecting villages like Taung and Makareng, Madipelesa and Maditamaha are inaccessible. We are also affected in terms of households around the same region with 96 uh, mud houses that have collapsed. In Dr. KK, 432 households are affected, including the hostel dwellers. And at uh, the area called uh, Bujanala, particularly Moses, Kotane, Moretele, and Rustenberg, we've got 16 affected households. And uh, the inaccessible roads connecting villages around Mo Moses, Kotane, are affecting villages such as Pitidi, Shulejang, Dibrak, Ramokhola, Ramokhajwe, uh, Brakkeil, uh, Matau, and when you look at Moretini, it also affects Maubana. Now so, we have... So, so MEC, it, has the weather been fatal for, for anyone thus far? To this far, we have only a case of uh, one man who drowned around the bridge. The police are searching for his body. Other than that, in the, in the village called Kharasai. But other than that, we have no any fatalities. But, but you've outlined, I mean, it sounds like large parts of, of the province are affected, so many people. What about those who have lost their, their homes completely? Uh, where are they being housed? Yes, we immediately, our focus is on uh, saving lives of both uh, people and animals. And we are locating them at varying shelters, including schools and churches. We are going to move with necessary speed with cooperation of the local municipalities to build them temporary shelters and they will be priorities when we build RDP. We are providing them with uh, food through SASA and social development and we've got the uh, pitch of foundation and uh, Red Cross uh, providing some assistance including provision of blankets we will uh, continue to assess the area because the meeting sitting on Tuesday would have to declare the uh, area a disaster. All right, so as far as you know, are most people are uh, taken care of. Do they have somewhere to lay their heads right now, um, not, not being left out in, in the cold, completely bereft? Uh, and how many people are we talking about here? We are referring to maybe more than four to or four, around four thousand people affected, sure. four to six thousand. Yes. Sure, MEC. But it is continuous. Mm. And, and disaster management. I mean, are they out in in force? We're, we're hearing warnings of of even more rain. Uh, that that must be terrible for for you to hear. Yes, we have uh, rescued around Greater Taum, particularly between the road of Freiburg and Taum, uh, more than 11 people who were trapped in the water. The others are continuing to be assisted at varying points. Our message is clear. They must, the people must stay indoors. Uh, they must avoid crossing rivers. They, when their cars are trapped, are trapped in the water, we advise them to abandon their cars and move to the higher ground. We are advising them to move their valuables like IDs to safe places and to make sure that the children are not playing outside. And 
And MEC, what, what about, I mean, the, the homes built on floodlines, we're, we're hearing about um, infrastructure that hasn't been repaired for, for years. Is this exposing uh, the, the cracks that need to be dealt with by municipalities? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, in the process of making, uh, in the process of responding to this disaster, we are also trying to redress on those, those backlogs. Uh, and the teachers, I mean, I heard uh, warnings like you say, don't don't risk your life. Does that apply to to teachers? And I guess when we head to schools opening to to pupils as well, if those schools are inaccessible, um, then rather don't go. Yes, uh, teachers and all other workers at Mahom in Moses Kotan, they attempt by a bus to cross uh, one river. Uh, failed because the bus got stuck. So even if they will still try to go to work, they would not be able to cross those rivers. All right, uh, sure. Thousands and thousands of people affected in just one province, and this comes amidst warning of even more rain to come. Uh, that was MEC Moloke Waile, who is the MEC for Cooperative Governance, Human Settlements, and Traditional Affairs in the Northwest.